Before we dive into the announcement, it's important to understand what particle accelerators are. The Large Hadron Collider, LHC, operated by CERN, is a 17-mile-long superconducting magnet ring and is the largest and most powerful particle accelerator in the world. It represents the pinnacle of human scientific accomplishment. So powerful, in fact, that it can recreate the very conditions at the beginning of the universe. But could this machine, designed to unlock the secrets of the universe, hold the key to something much more unsettling? CERN, established in 1954, is one of the most reputable research institutions in the world, with 23 member states and thousands of researchers using it as a hub for collaboration and innovation. The LHC is CERN's flagship project, but it is just one component of an extensive network of experiments and accelerators. Envision a racetrack, not for cars or horses, but for subatomic particles, racing against time and space itself. The LHC accelerates protons to nearly the speed of light, sending them on a collision course that mimics the energy of the universe at the time of the Big Bang. These collisions create temperatures more than a million times hotter than the core of the sun. Thousands of magnets direct the protons as they travel, while intricate cooling systems keep the magnets at temperatures even colder than outer space. Inside the LHC, collisions take place at four locations around the accelerator ring. These correspond to four major particle detectors. Atlas, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB. Each detector serves a distinct function, exploring different aspects of particle physics. Together, they are like enormous cameras, capturing snapshots of these collisions. Scientists then sift through the debris, searching for signs of elusive particles, like the Higgs boson, also known as the God particle, and other phenomena that offer clues to the universe's fundamental building blocks. By studying the microcosm, we gain insights into the macrocosm. But with every answer comes a new question. And with every discovery, a new difficulty. The LHC is not simply a scientific instrument. It is a demonstration of human inventiveness and curiosity. It embodies our relentless pursuit of knowledge and our need to comprehend the fundamental forces that shape our universe. But as we push its limits, we must also consider the ethical and existential questions that arise. What are the risks of probing the unknown? Could our quest for understanding inadvertently unlock forces we cannot control? In the halls of CERN, where the boundaries of human comprehension are constantly pushed, a new revelation has come to light, one that sends a shiver down the spine of even the most experienced researchers. Brian Cox, a former researcher at CERN and a respected voice in particle physics, recently made an announcement that has been largely overlooked. Cox's words were both fascinating and terrifying, resonating with haunting clarity. The goal of CERN's Large Hadron Collider, he explained, is to recreate a miniature Big Bang. Yes, that's right. A miniature version of the very event that led to the creation of our universe. He continued by highlighting the LHC's potential for groundbreaking discoveries, including unlocking the secrets of the Higgs boson and dark matter, the mysterious substance that makes up a significant portion of the universe. Imagine holding in your hands the power to conjure the universe's very essence. It's a tantalizing prospect, but one fraught with danger. The mini Big Bang is not just a theoretical concept. It's a tangible reality within the LHC. The temperatures, the pressures, the raw energy, all mimic the conditions at the dawn of time the birth of existence itself. But with such strength comes responsibility. And the question looms, what if something goes wrong? In fact, something terribly did go wrong. Not at CERN, 
But back in 1978, Russian physicist Anatoly Bugorsky experienced a disaster that would forever alter the course of his life. While working on the U-70 synchrotron at the Institute for High Energy Physics in Russia, a malfunction caused his head to accidentally enter the path of a proton beam. The forceful beam, beyond human comprehension, travelled through his skull and exited through his nose. Bugorsky's experience was otherworldly. He reported seeing a flash brighter than a thousand suns, but felt no pain. The beam's path left a trail of destruction, burning through bone and tissue. Despite this, he remained conscious and even walked to the clinic for treatment. The aftermath was both fascinating and horrifying. The beam caused localized tissue death, leading to partial facial paralysis and loss of hearing in one ear. Yet, remarkably, Bugorsky's intellect and capabilities remained intact and he continued his scientific career. This incident is not merely an individual tragedy. It's a cautionary tale that underscores the immense power and potential danger of particle accelerators. The risks of machines like the LHC are not to be underestimated. The potential for unanticipated reactions, even manipulation of the very fabric of space and time, are real concerns voiced by members of the scientific community. One of the most troubling and intriguing possibilities associated with the LHC is the creation of a miniature black hole. A black hole is a region of space-time where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape. These cosmic vacuum cleaners, devourers of stars and mysterious entities lurking in the shadows of the universe are terrifying enough when light years away. But the idea that such an entity could be created on Earth, even on a microscopic scale, is shocking to both laypeople and professionals alike. Some fear that such a black hole could expand, swallowing the Earth from within. Scientists at CERN have assured the public that any black hole created would be unstable and evaporate almost instantly. Yet the mere possibility has sparked debate, anxiety, and awe. To understand how the LHC might produce a black hole, we must Examine the fundamental mechanics of particle accelerators. When protons are smashed together at nearly the speed of light, the energy released is so immense that it can warp the fabric of space itself. Imagine a tightly stretched trampoline. Now imagine placing a heavy object in the center. The fabric bends, and if the weight is heavy enough, it creates a deep depression, pulling in anything nearby. That's a metaphor for what might occur in the quantum world under the conditions created by the LHC physics. The study of how the universe works is both stunning and bizarre. Some theories suggest that extra dimensions may be hidden within our reality. If these dimensions exist, the LHC's collisions could tap into them, potentially creating a funnel of gravitational pull that results in a microscopic black hole. The dance of particles has caught the attention of many, including some of the world's a most renowned scientists. The late Stephen Hawking, in his writings, warned of a scenario where the Higgs boson could become unstable under extremely high energy conditions. This instability, he theorized, could lead to a catastrophic event known as vacuum decay a cosmic chain reaction that might not only destroy Earth, but the entire universe. Sir Martin Rees, esteemed British cosmologist and physicist, also expressed concerns. In his book on the future of humanity, he explored the potential dangers of experiments like those conducted at CERN. Accelerator experiments, including those carried out at CERN, were more than just words of caution. They were infused with an existential tinge of dread. One physicist predicted the worst case scenario, where a disastrous experiment might create a state known as vacuum instability. In theory, this could trigger a phase transition.
that would ripple through the very fabric of space-time, resulting in a cosmic catastrophe that could engulf the entire universe. Ray's concerns were not limited to theoretical musings. He assigned a probability to these catastrophic outcomes, albeit a low one. But even a minuscule chance, he argued, should give us cause for concern. The stakes are unimaginably high, and the margin for error is razor thin. The scientists at CERN have calculated the probabilities, run the simulations, and examined the theories to argue for the safety of the LHC. Brian Cox himself acknowledged the importance of responsible exploration, recognizing that there are widespread fears and concerns surrounding the activities of the LHC. He stressed that there are strict safety measures in place, extensive procedures and checks to ensure the LHC's operations are carried out with the utmost care. Cox reassured the public that the energies involved are well within what the Earth naturally encounters. The chances of creating a stable black hole are astronomically low. Even if one were created, scientists say it would be so tiny and so unstable that it would evaporate in a flash of energy, a phenomenon that Stephen Hawking predicted, known as Hawking radiation, a fleeting glimpse of cosmic wonder, into the abyss, and then gone. Some have gone further, speculating that the LHC's experiments could open a portal to a different universe or dimension. This notion though largely dismissed by the scientific community, has captured the imagination of many. It has become a matter that fascinates, scares, and even bleeds into folklore. What lies beyond our reality? Could we inadvertently unleash forces or entities that we do not understand? The idea of opening a portal to hell has even been sensationalized in various media, adding fuel to the fire. I'm unsure how this idea came about, or what it truly means in the context of scientific investigation. The concept of parallel dimensions is not new in physics. String theory, a leading candidate for a unified theory of everything, posits that there may be more than the familiar three dimensions of space and one of time. These extra dimensions could be compactified or hidden from our perception but they could theoretically be accessed or revealed under extreme conditions. Now imagine the LHC as a cosmic key unlocking doors that have been sealed since the dawn of time. When protons collide at energies unimaginable on Earth, they could, in theory, wreak havoc on the fabric of space-time, potentially exposing hidden dimensions. While the scientific community remains skeptical of such sensational claims, the very idea of particle accelerators unlocking the secrets of the universe has led to wider public interest in the potential risks and consequences of such experiments. In the end, the LHC stands as a powerful symbol of human curiosity and ambition. It is a testament to the progress we have made in understanding the universe, but also a reminder of the dangers that come with such knowledge. The universe may be vast, but the more we uncover about it, the more we realize how little we truly understand. The quest for knowledge is one of humanity's greatest achievements, but it is also fraught with uncertainty and danger. Only time will tell if we are truly ready for what we might uncover next. The Large Hadron Collider is a marvel of modern science and technology, but it also opens the door to questions that re-examine the very foundation of our understanding of the universe. The machine itself is an engineering masterpiece, stretching across a vast underground ring and highlighting some of the most advanced and precise equipment ever built. It brings together a global network of scientists and researchers, united by one goal, to answer some of the most fundamental inquiries about the universe. But as scientists push the boundaries of human knowledge, they also face significant challenges, both theoretical and ethical.
One of the key areas of study at the LHC is the quest to understand the forces that control the universe. For hundreds of years, scientists have sought to unlock the mysteries of gravity, electromagnetism, and the strong and weak nuclear forces. The LHC provides an unprecedented chance to investigate these forces in extreme environments. The collision of particles at such high energies imitates conditions just moments after the Big Bang, when the universe was a hot, dense soup of particles. Researchers are able to probe the behaviour of matter and energy in ways that were once thought impossible. Despite the potential for groundbreaking discoveries, the LHC also raises important questions about the limits of experimental science. The chance to discover new particles, such as supersymmetric particles or dark matter, could revolutionise our understanding of the universe. But these discoveries could also have unintended consequences. There is a growing awareness among some physicists that the experiments conducted at the LHC may be unlocking more than just the secrets of the universe. They might be revealing new forces or dangers that humanity is not yet equipped to handle. One of the most fascinating and unsettling ideas in this regard is the concept of vacuum decay. This theory suggests that under certain conditions, the energy generated by particle collisions at the LHC could cause the fabric of space-time to undergo a catastrophic shift, triggering a chain reaction that could alter the very nature of reality itself. While the likelihood of this occurring is extremely low, the potential repercussions are so severe that some have argued it is a risk that should be carefully considered. A vacuum decay event, if it were to happen, could cause the collapse of the universe as we know it. It could lead to the destruction of all matter and energy within our cosmos. Despite the speculative nature of these concerns, the LHC remains a focal point for scientific investigation. The exhilaration surrounding the potential for new discoveries often outweighs the cautionary voices. Every day, Thousands of scientists work tirelessly at CERN, driven by a deep desire to uncover the fundamental truths that govern existence. Yet as the LHC operates at the cutting edge of science, the ethical implications of such potent experiments continue to be a topic of ongoing debate. Another area of concern is the potential for creating phenomena that we simply do not understand. The LHC has already demonstrated the ability to create exotic particles, such as the Higgs boson, that were previously only theorised. However, this ability to create new forms of matter also raises the question of whether we could create particles or entities that pose unforeseen risks 